Hi, my name is Don Farias and welcome to my College Algebra classroom. A little about me, I've been teaching math at Johnson since 2016. I'm very happy working here because the students and staff are the best around. I live in this community and enjoy seeing my students at school, church, and yes, even HEB. My strengths as a teacher are patience, kindness, humor, and dedication. In other news, I've been married since 1996 and have five children of my own. One is at UTSA. He graduated last year. You can see his, him and I in the picture in the spring at our um, socially distanced graduation, which was a lovely ceremony. Um, two of my two children are at Johnson. I have a freshman and a junior. I have a seventh grader at Hill and a tiny little baby in second grade at Cibolo Green. I'm a native Texan, but I've lived in three other states, a couple of them twice and we're not even military. Some grading and tutoring information. Um, right here, our grading percentages for college algebra are tests and projects at 60%, quizzes at 30, and classwork homework at 10%. Uh, my tutoring hours are every morning except Wednesday from 9.15 to 9.45, and every Friday, I'm sorry, excuse me, every afternoon except Friday, from 3.15 to 3.45. Retakes, I'm up here. Retakes are allowed for failed quizzes and tests for one chance of up to 70. Even if the retake grade is higher, we still just record a 70. Um, late classwork and homework, I'm right here, is accepted by test day for 20% penalty on the overall grade. And then at the bottom, the present but no work. This is a new policy for um, distance learning. If your student has been marked present either by showing up to Zoom or marking present asynchronously, and they also do not do the work that was assigned and completed in class that day. So whether it was a quiz or a test or a classwork grade that the other students turned in by the end of class, their grade is recorded as a zero. And if it's a quiz or test, they are allowed the one retake option for a the highest grade of 70. And if it was a daily grade like classwork, um, it's a late grade for a penalty of 20%. Um, this policy is not for homework grades, which are assigned during class and due later. This policy is only for things that are supposed to be completed on the day of class. Class communication in Google Classroom. Um, I have all announcements, videos, lessons, assignments, and resources that the students need. And if you need to email me, my email is dfaria1 at naisd.net. I wanted to show you a few things that you could look for in your student's Google Classroom. So if you log into your student's Google Classroom and you click on their, specifically their college algebra and it goes to their homepage, that's called the stream. And along the top of the Google Classroom, you'll see a tab called Classwork. When you click on there and open up into the new screen, you'll see this section, which is called resources. And when you click right here where it says all the links, this menu expands. This has their Zoom classroom link, a link for tutoring schedule, bell schedule, uh, my syllabus for the course, which had been abbreviated at the very beginning of the year, if you, if you took a chance to look at that. Um, but as we just finished our first unit last week and I have a better idea of how um, certain policies for class, how I want them to look for distance learning, I updated that document this morning. And so you're welcome to go look at that again for more updated information. And my email is there as well. So that's under the Classwork tab in your Google Classroom. Um, if you go back to the home page or the stream, what you'll see is um, upcoming work, attendance or classwork or homework quizzes, um, tests and things like that are located here. And then on the right, you'll see uh, announcements that I make to the students each day it's labeled by the weekday and the month and date. And it talks about what we did in class that day. It has the lesson name, um, what things are attached to the announcement, like blank and filled notes, a homework blank, and a key for checking if we took a grade that day. Um, there's a video always attached. Um, and then you can see all those attachments here. There's always a blank that can be printed and there's always a key and filled in notes. Another place you can find the blanks for printing ahead of time are if I go to the unit. 
So going back to the classwork tab, there's a unit for each sec, um, unit that we're taking a test on. And the very first thing I post in there is a calendar and the printables for the unit are hyperlinked. Also, please keep in mind, it is never required for your student to print out the, uh, the, the master copies. They can always just work on notebook paper. Anytime they have to submit their work, it can always just be handwritten on notebook paper. They are not required to print anything. So thank you for spending this time with me. I look forward to working with your students this year and I can't wait to meet them in person. I am dedicated to being available during tutoring times, figuring out best practices in this new environment and working alongside your family as we navigate this strange new world together. Please email me anytime with questions, concerns and feedback at dfadio1 at neisd.net. Thank you and have a good night.